want to thank um, a couple of speakers, but I definitely want to just to point out Ms. Wright uh, for her advocacy um, coming here today while she's sick, again, to advocate um, on behalf of the children at District Heights Elementary School. I think that the message is very clear. Uh, so I if am you very wanna, disappointed if you wanna, if you wanna, that we are not doing speak, anything about the issue. You cannot speak I think that to that we need to issue. remove those students young man, from District Heights Elementary School. Young man, it is you absolutely speak ridiculous. Thank you, Ms. Wright. Thank you, Wolf. Thank you. Please. Please. Right. Thank Thank you. Out you. Thank you. If they won't do anything about it, I will. Thank you. This is absolutely ridiculous. Thank you. Absolutely ridiculous we'll move on to our next agenda item. not even show up. Well, now you you are out of order, man. Absolutely give it, give. Okay. My name is Phyllis Wright. I'm a parent, District Heights Elementary School. Today was a nightmare for me, and the children and the staff there. There were some chemicals released from the school. I tried to encourage parents to bring their kids back, thinking that it was safe. There's not a safe environment for our kids to be there. There's contractors walking in and out. We don't know who no one is. They don't have badges. They don't talk to the people in the office. They don't sign in. They just walk through the building. We need to move those kids out of District Heights Elementary School until the work is done. The Band-Aid is fine, but it's not safe. The chemicals that was released today was harmful. Right now, my head is hurting. My kids are complaining about headaches. Children were sick. People got sick. Mr. Fawcett saw me. I almost fell out. Um, something needs to be done, and it needs to be done now. Uh, what would it take a child to be killed? 40% uh, of our teachers are not there because they're sick. I don't know what's going on in that building, but there's a problem there, and we need to have it fixed now. I don't want my kids to die. I want my kids to have an education. And I want you all to do something about this because the day was the last straw for me. I can't do no more. My nerves are shut. I'm sick, and I have to go through this. To have uh, my neck is, and head is hurting. This whatever was released in this building today was the last straw to let me know that it's not safe for these kids to be in this building while you all do work in here. Somebody needs to do something for somebody to get seriously hurt. And we need to do it now, not yesterday, not today, but we need to do this now before somebody get hurt. Please help us. Help us help those children. Those kids are there to learn, to get an education, not to die, not to get sick. Those people are not there for that. We need help. Please help us over there. The band-aids that you're doing is fine, but do the work that needs to be done and get those kids out of there because you all are killing those babies. Those are our futures for tomorrow. And what you all going to do is sit up here and do nothing and let these babies get sick, let the parents get sick, let the teachers get sick. We need to do something now. We need to help these kids over here. I don't care where we live. We need help, and we need you all to help us now. Mr. Fawcett told me that it was a mistake. Those chemicals were deadly. These kids could have died. I could have died because I volunteer in this building every day. Man, we need some help. You got men walking in here around these children. There's nobody there with ID badges on. We don't know who is who. Nobody signs in the office. Please help us over here in District Heights. I want to thank um, a couple of speakers, but I definitely want to just to point out Ms. Wright uh, for her advocacy um, coming here today while she's sick, again, to advocate um, on behalf of the children at District Heights Elementary School. I think that the message is very clear. Uh, so I if am you very wanna, disappointed if you wanna, that we you are not doing speak, anything about the issue. You cannot speak I think that to that we need issue. to remove those students young man, from District Heights Elementary School. Young man, it is you cannot absolutely speak to ridiculous. Issue. Cut his mic, thank please. you, Ms. Wright. Cut his thank mic, you all for coming down and speaking out. Thank you. If they won't do anything about it, I will. Thank you. This is absolutely ridiculous. Thank you. Absolutely ridiculous. We'll move on to our next agenda item. Not even show up. Well, now you, you are out of order, man. Absolutely give it, give. 